Oh, we even have like a special screen that we didn't have before. It's hard to really tell. Just looks like a homeless guy. I don't know. Got tattered rags, man. It is by the edict of the king and the laws of the land of the Valley of Krasna in the kingdom of Lonaria that here in the town of Volksville, I, J.S. Rayford, am here to carry out the sentence in the matter of the people versus the criminal, Marcus Van Houten. Millhouse has been great, 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 great grandfather. Does the criminal have anything to say? Probably a few more grades. Let me head roll. I defended myself and stole to feed my own starving body. If this is life, then my head is better served up fresh on a pole for all you people. Very well. Marcus Van Houten, you are sentenced to death by the automatic blade. May the next life be better than this. There's a next as life? As I don't have to look at your filthy face, Rayford. Your conscience is almost as filthy as my... <laughs> Take his head, tar it, and put it on a pike outside anyway. town to warn others of our justice. His headless body to a crow's cage to be pecked clean. I like and thus it is for criminals here. The ambient I will not responses them in, in the my background. Jurisdiction. Do you understand? You are all witnesses here today. One, I didn't expect Rayford to look like that, and two, did anyone pick up on that? Yes. All the blood. Someone had a very good execution. Not that Rayford guy, not Marcus. Would like to see you in his office. Sounds like one of the Hello peons there. from Warcraft. You're a visitor to our town, I take it. Peasants. Heck yeah. Why, yes, I am. Just admiring the beauty of the area. The river is quite the sight. Huh. Yes, it is, stranger. Yes, it is. Might I have the pleasure of your name? Yeah, I'm down. I mean, you know. Yes, my name is Mr. Rome. Mr. William Rome. Pleasure. J.S. Rayford. Town Magister. Pleasure. Well, I have some matters to attend to. Please stop by my office later. Why'd I I'd come love by this to time? chat with you some more. Sounds good. Good evening, little man. Six good guy evening, that... Mr. Rome. Six guy that sat on me. I'm going to... Have a counter what up on the screen. Ha <laughs> Rome's not into it. All right. You know, since it looks like I'll be here a while, I should try to make a friend or something. I mean, my thoughts go immediately to Kit, but find mentor. We leave town. Maybe get into our first battle. What say you, Udo? Did you take in that execution? Hey there, Udo. Well, hello, Dev. Prospero scared you and gave me a thousand pretty. I didn't mean to tell My, yeah. that was certainly scary. I wouldn't want my head to roll like that or end up on a spike. Heard that, Udo. Yep, it's head on a spike. It kind of creeps me out. It's what it sounds like, the head on the spike. Ah, you've met Kurt. Big brute, isn't he? Well, he's definitely an interesting fella. Loves to drink. Pretty well restrained, too, for an ox. Yeah, we had kind of an interesting chemistry. I'll leave it at that. Well, you're in the Valley of Krasna right now. Krasna. We're part of the Kingdom of Lenaria. Everybody get that? Kingdom of Lenaria in Volksville, Valley of Krasna. All right. What you got? All oh, right, I know what you got. Your stuff's really expensive. Like you know, they're selling alcohol for one twenty-fifth the rate you're charging for snake oil, my friend. Oh, is this that guy's head? That's awesome. <laughs> it's the severed head of Marcus Van Houten. Sadly, <laughs> it doesn't look too good separated from his body. I don't know why I laughed. That's probably not the reaction that uh, Raymond was going for. 
What if it talked to us? You don't take... want to take the head. Don't you though? Like, I don't like I get maybe putting that in the town. Uh, it's not gonna help tourism, I guess is my issue. That's my thought. Someone's walking by, they're like, ooh, maybe we could have a bite here in Bulk's Oh head on a stick. Maybe not. Let's let's try the next town. Maybe we'll find a McDonald's. Yeah, let's just check out some more of the surrounding areas. Maybe we'll get into our first. Thank you, Kiko. Celebrating the 10th anniversary of Let's Play with Breggins as we do this. The guard this. is busy patrolling and doesn't have time to spend talking to you. Besides, you don't want to talk to the law. Because we're a rogue, aren't we? We're a brigand. F Acre Farms. F Acre Farms. You assume there's a farm around here somewhere? Sky looks lovely this time of evening. The woods have become a bit more cultivated here. To the west you can see a farm, and to the north some fallen trees. I would think to the west we could see the town of Volksville. You attempt to pull the axe out of the stump. You just can't seem to pull it out. Well, we're not a fighter. Still trying to figure out what kind of hero or anti-hero our Rome is. Alright, might be time to find out if you can swim there, Romy. Oh, okay. I feel like in a different game that might have been enough to <laughs> drag us under. Is, I feel like there's a staff of Arana we can grab somewhere, and she's gonna tell us we need to make some sort of sacrifice by that music. I like the music, though. I don't think we're in a safe part of town. Whoa! You could feel something was amiss when you got here. You prepare for combat. Is that part of his head, or is that a hat? You're going down. All right. Quest for Infamy, Battle Tutorial. It's turn-based. You do, if you don't act in three seconds, your turn will be skipped. Oh, goodness. To act, click the action you'd like to perform. Press the play button to begin the fight. Slash, hack, block, stab. I have no healing potions. Hopefully we can take down this enemy. They seem to have less numbers than we do. That's good. Less numbers is always good. Down it. Vomited on me. Damn it. Ah. Damn it. Damn it. Well, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Whether you're getting vomited on or he's just missing. Yeah, again, we're not a fighter. Damn it. Pukedoid. Space Quest 5 style. Oh, that was a big one. Hacking plus one. <laughs> the strangest battle. We got him! Well done! You've defeated yet another foe, solidifying your position as a total badass. I mean, I don't know if we solidified it after one dude. Let's search the body. Searching the corpse reveals some blies, which you pocket. That's seven beers. That's a good night out. Or three and a half for me and Kit. We could split the last one. It could be cute. Maybe taking an execution on our second date. Uh-oh. Well, he was wearing some armor. <laughs> Apparently not enough. Let's check it out. Crikey, his damn head fell right off into the stump. Marcus style. Got to admit, that was equal parts cool and gross, as there were still a few rotting tendons holding it on. You peer inside and notice an old steel helmet, complete with horns. It's too bad this guy died, because he might have been a badass. I like that everything's in terms of being a badass or not. You take the helm, figuring you could use it better. Clearly, if the man's dead, we could always use it better. Pop that on. Where do we pop this on? You need to. You need. You need to. You need to. Is the helmet not armor? It's 
going on here? No helmet? You try with all your might. Can't do anything with it. What do I do with this helmet that fits my head perfectly? You'd, lo you'd love to wear this, but it's too small. Ah. You've got a large head. Alright, so we tried. More butterflies. We grab butterfly. Oh, don't climb that tree, dude. You attempt to climb the tree, you don't get far, but you feel that you're getting better. Wait a minute. Hold up. Do we have stats? Oh, we do have stats. We're not specialized yet. Oh yeah, let's specialize. What are our character types? I don't know if we want to get into any more fights at the moment. Infamy 10, right? We were all kinds of respectful to that uh, town magister. I kind of regret that now. Oh, uh, there's our clock. Daytime, evening, nighttime. And we can rest. You have no time to rest right now. Don't we? We have nothing going on. What are you talking about? We literally have nothing going on. You don't on. have any magical ability. All right, rub it in. Why don't you? We're, I know we're no casting even spells, but... Oh, we can sneak. Here we go. Yep, that's the thiefy... The thiefy shuffle, as I always... Or never called it. All right. Might be a good idea, though, considering we almost died from one dude. Oh, our stealth went up by one point. That's exciting. They nailed the Quest for Glory sneak animation. It was as ridiculous then as it is now. Oh, uh, nice, it went up another point. After walking through the forest a bit, you come upon what appears to be the main entrance and foyer of a long abandoned and burnt down mansion. Huh. The place must have been massive! You see it stretch out to both the west and east. To the east, you note there being the ruins of what must once have been a beautiful garden. How can you tell that? It's probably just, like, when you say something was must have once been a beautiful garden, that says to me it's just like, you know, weeds now and dead grass. How can you tell that from that? Let's check and see if there's anything worth salvaging. Man, our stealth is going up fast. I wish it went up this fast when we were a thief. You don't have... Uh, stealth, eight. No wonder it's going up so fast, because we're bad. Oh, thievery, five. I didn't even see that stat before. Yes, I want to be a thief. I just decided. You place your hand in the chimney. Wait, there's something in there. You can feel a loose brick and... Ah! Wasps! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> You just put your hand in a wasp's nest. They were definitely stinging you. That was almost <laughs> as bad as the time your legs fell asleep in Swart's cart. Uh, I love that. They were definitely stinging you, bro. <laughs> Did my health go down at all? No, we're fine. Good thing we're not allergic. Are there more wasps in there? That can't you be. You place your hand... Ah! Oh, wow, okay. You just put your... You just put your hand in a wasp nest. Mate. I like the music in this game. Whatever it is you're trying to... Don't seem to be working. I don't see anything else worth interfacing with. Let's check out this... Used to be an amazing garden. Whatever it is... This must have been someone's pride and joy once. A large hand-carved fountain and reflecting pool is now filled with green, scummy water and overgrown aquatic plants. To the north, you see a path and a cemetery beyond. I have to check that out. There's no way in hell you're going to drink any of that water. Drink. No time to sit around. You try with all your might. There's no... There's no... Imagine if Quest for Glory always had like a little pop-up that shows you every time like a stat went up one point. <laughs> Just be constant depending on what you were doing. We got here. Here lies Edith. Here lies my poor wife, much lamented. She is happy, and I am contented. 
Ronald Blake was hanged by mistake. His words. Shed a tear for Jimmy Brown, poor Jimmy is no more. For what he thought was H2O was H2SO4. That'd be a problem. The graveyard is scattered. Here lies Johnny Yeast. Pardon me for not rising. But a bunch. Sir Alistair Strange. Here lies an honest lawyer. <laughs> and that is strange. Here, Delia's buried at fourscore, when young, a lewd, rapacious whore. Vain and expensive, but when old, a pious, sordid, drunken scold. Here lies an atheist, all dressed up and nowhere to go. Huh. Yeah, I suppose so. This grave holds the remains of Stephen. I told you it wasn't a rash. The ultimate told you so. Death. Martha Dias. Here lies the body of Martha Dias, who was always uneasy and not over pious. She lived to the age of three score and ten and gave to the worms what she Seventy. refused to the men. The graveyard is... All right. So we're the this zombie and we have to fight. Sturdy. Yep. It's definitely the door to the crypt. And it's def... Hmm. What kind of a thief doesn't have a thief kit? Maybe we're not a thief. We're definitely not a fighter. We don't know any spells. What are we? It's a loser. <laughs> oh well. Oh wow. Burning the midnight oil there, eh, buddy? Greetings, sir. Grave digger. Do you have a property? Oh, you're busy. There's always time to chat. No one here's going anywhere. Grave diggers always have that sort of sense of humor. No one wants to talk about Kit with me. Well, I'm fine. You can call me Bud, too. It's the name I like the best. Well, this is the valley's graveyard. Lots of graves here, and some tombs, and crypts. There's an old caretaker's and funeral home here, but no one's used it in years. This is like a perpetual, super angry face. Just very disgusted and disappointed with you face. He's like saying to his, his wife of like 57 years, he's like, I love you. Or he's just got that scowl. It's a nice old place, but it's sorely run down. It was the old caretaker's place. Don't know now how long it'll stay standing. People think it's haunted. Beautiful chapel in there. <laughs> well, some of the bigger ones belong to rich families of the town. And to your, I guess. Well, I, well, the Killingtons for one. It's on the east side. Big tomb. Can't miss it. I'll have to check that out. There's a sad story there. Father, old Jarvis, went nuts, they say. He burnt down the house with the whole family inside. Some say he killed everyone before he lit the fire. Some say he locked them in, and everyone burned alive. Killington. Whatever happened to that poor family? I don't know. I don't want, I think. Heard that. Well, it was a pleasure talking with you, sir. Don't be a stranger, but also don't be making me bury you. I'm not keep you employed. All right, let's take a look at some more of these graves. <laughs> no one's questioned the way I'm walking. I just what went wrong. <laughs> the statue of an angel. It is stone and has wings like angels do. Did it just move a little when you blinked? Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. Don't turn your back. Don't look away. And don't blink. And the floor is lava. Here I sit, broken hearted. Came to shit. Instead I departed. <laughs> Instead you crapped out. It's more like it. <laughs> Rome. 
Minion Mike, it dared ask why. For this small sin, he surely died. This tomb was obviously for someone very important. Killington? Leave the tomb alone, dumbass. What? Wasn't expecting to be called a dumbass by the narrator, this all right. This is... <laughs> Peter Shady regrets swimming with the lake lady. Ah... I can you say no to the Zolka though? I don't blame this him. graveyard is sufficiently creepy. This grave, this grave. All right, let's see if we can't find that Killington tomb. Oh, okay. There's the. Uh, what he's talking about. Because in no way is this abandoned house inside the graveyard creepy. You open the door and enter. Explorer. <laughs> Either a total the badass must or a total dumbass. The mold hits That's you right. right in the face as you enter the old mansion. You see that it's quite dilapidated. You also see the door to the chapel past the broken stairs. Why do I feel a King's Quest Four moment coming on at some point? Having to dig up the graves and find the prized possession of each ghoul to give them eternal peace. Their tormented souls. Ooh, that still scares me, but imagine me playing that game when I was, you know, five or whatever I was. That scared the crap out of me. This is a beautiful carved wooden pulpit. It looks to be in remarkable shape considering how everything else looks in this place. Yeah, it's true. Let's give a sermon. Oh, let's open it up. Oh, I should probably do a, uh... Father, Son, Holy... Hold on, I gotta do it fresh. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. What? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Open! That's how we did it at Catholic school. You rub your hands all over yourself like a showgirl. You think about an alternative career. Oh. Up, up, down, down, left, right? I don't know. Stealth's going up, I know that. Yeah, probably more watched Quest, or King's Quest 4, but it still scared the bejesus out of me. That one scene. The whole game's kind of creepy, actually. I don't suppose I can get up those you stairs, try can I? The yeah. stairs are out, so you can't get to it. But what would you do with it if you got there? Depends what's up there, narrator. Depends what's up there. What's our stealth at by now? 17. You Beef break inch. the broken mirror a little more, <laughs> because why not? We're a total badass. It's just what we do. Is that clock still going, by the way? Don't know where it was last time I checked. We you rest. have no time. You can't sleep right. Now, what important things we have to do. They haven't really, like... There's no, you know, overarching quest or anything. We started the game by almost banging a Baron's daughter, and we ran away. That's... <laughs> There's not anyone trying to take over the world, as far as I know. We're just trying to get some. This really is a massive graveyard. Rows upon rows of tombstones with the occasional large tomb breaking the monotony. A hell of a lot of people have died in Volksville. Live too. This really... They just like ran out of funny, uh, witty little uh, this epitaphs. This really... Alright, so this must be the Killington's tomb. At first glance, it looks just like an ordinary stone door. But when you really gaze at it, there seems to be something different about it. All right. Looking closer, you see a shallow indentation on the door in the shape of a shield. Damn it, we still need a shield. Try as you might. Yeah, I haven't found one either. You try with all... You play around with it, you play... As long as you played around with it. All right. Second reason to find a shield. Wait, did we go to the... 
right back there. Gotta try going to the right. Alright, the path didn't go anywhere. This really. Alright. So we'll find a shield, and that will presumably open that Killington's tomb. Maybe we'll find out some truth as to what happened. Oof. It's a sad story. Alright. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Especially when he's like coming in from the back. Coming to the foreground, just that, that thiefy shuffle. No time. Again, I don't think we have anything to do. Nothing pressing. Nothing urgent. Probably won't get another fight if we uh, keep sneaking everywhere. Hello, gentlemen. Doing some fishing? Hello there. Ah! I didn't see you there. Rattle! Been messing with this net for the last hour. Yeah? Isn't that pond a little small for the net? Aye, it is. But I lost me pole just a bit earlier. Biggest catfish I'd ever seen hopped up and ate the bait and hook hole. Took off. Yanked the pole right out of me hand. Well, wow. that's unfortunate. Sure is. It's me livelihood. That were the best pole I ever had. Who knows where that demon fish took it? You sure it's a demon fish, not just a strong fish? That beard looks fake, by the way, Brattle. I know that's a rude thing to say to you, considering I don't know you that well, but... They are crafty creatures. What are you talking about? They're as stupid as a pile of rocks. That one's just lucky. <laughs> what can you sell me? How much you charge for these? What? His fish. All right, his rations only cost four blies. I spent six on what I get, like meat and potatoes or something. Yeah, give me some fish. You have purchased a deck. Nice. You have purchased right. an old fishing net. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, whatever. We got a net. We'll go fishing. You know what they say. Give a man, sell a man a fish, he's fed for a day. Teach a man to fish, or at least sell him a net and don't teach him anything about how to use it, and maybe it'll work out. That's the uh, brigands' version of that. You've got nothing to gain by dunking that in the pond, genius. It's better than the dumbass he dropped on us earlier. So this is our time to choose our class surprise says to me. Well, I should right. be silly at fixing it. Not my job. That's true. Especially when you can, like, easily walk over it. But something tells me, in an adventure game, we're going to drown. The only way to take this bridge is to walk over it. <laughs> it's really not that far, Rome. Come on, man. Alright. You know your limitations better than I do. Oh, is this person back? We can, like... Oh, all right. No, no, whatever. But we can still check in on a lot of these people now. And whatever it is. We have, like, sunset conversations with them now, too. It's a different time in the day cycle. We should probably go see our drinking buddy at the tavern. Any excuse to talk to Kit again. Did time pass at all? No, it did not. Considering we've been walking around, that's impressive. I don't know if it's like an actual day-night cycle like in Quest for Glory, or if it's more event-driven, if you know what I mean. Yeah, let's go to the tavern. What am I doing looking at graves and fish? All right, David Blaine. Who's this street magician all dressed in black? Well, oh, mate, what can I do for you? Uh, I don't know. What do you do, Ober? Fun. Well, the tavern is about as lively as we get around here. 
There you go. There's a farmer's market off in the corner of town. All kind of people hang out there. Probably not at night. There's the regulars, but occasionally travels show up to showcase the little oddities and all that. Well, this is it. A sweet little town to call home. Okay. I didn't see you earlier in my rounds of Volksville. The name's Obur. This is Costigan. Hi, Costigan. <laughs> God. Oh, Gorf's a prat. If he ever pesters we me, it's usually for a blight to get a sausage or something. I just hand him one to shut him up. He gives it out worse to others in town, though. Frankly, I think he's dumb enough to get himself hurt or killed soon enough. I'm sure we met Gorp, but I just... I don't remember. Right. Nice to meet you, friend. Good luck in your travels. Thanks, Ober. I pissed in that earlier. I didn't mean to go that way. No. I'm trying to get pissed. To the tavern. Oh, I think we can cut through here, can't we? Actually. There we are. Oh, yeah. Gotta save before we enter the tavern, because who knows how this night will end. That sun's gonna be... Come on yeah. over. Have a pint. All right, Statham slash Kurt. Duh, duh. <sighs> Look at this fella. He looks too handsome to enjoy a drink. What's that supposed to mean? It's the weirdest thing I think I've ever heard in my life. What does that even mean? <laughs> yeah, let's get him some apple juice. Shut up, turd. I'll take some milk. <laughs> I'll take some From milk. your mother's breast, again. Oh! Always go back for a second. Oh, with the again. Just rolled it off. <laughs> that little just eh, animation right there. Now bust your lip for that, mate. I just killed something outside of town. I don't think you want to talk to me like that, turd. Shut up. You'd piss yourself trying. <laughs> All right, Chase. He's a good guy. Boys, this is Mr. Rome. Rome, meet the boys. Not sure why Kurt's taking such a liking to me. I don't know that we were... All right. Hello, gentlemen. We're just having a few pints. Please join us. Sounds good. Why don't we have some fun? You up for a drinking contest? Always. I was gonna say no. I'm always up for a contest. And I'm always up for a drinking. Sounds good to me. But never at the same time. I'm sorry, I have to leave. Splendid. All right, the rules are, drink these bites until you can't drink no more. Prepare to change your religion, sir. Simple enough rule. Yes, prepare to change your religion. <laughs> drink up or give up. Uh, drink up. I mean, I don't advise you to play along at home, but I'm gonna sort of try. <laughs> A bad idea. Oh, the cursor is getting all wonky. Oh no. Better keep this on the left side. <laughs> this is amazing. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's getting so difficult to control. They thought I wouldn't notice. I can still kind of make that out. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Drink, drink, drink. All right, I can still kind of see that. Yes. Oh no, they look exactly the same. They're like at the same height too. That's not cool. That's literally the same thing. Drink would have had one more letter. I don't know, I'm pretty pissed right now. I'm gonna say it's the one on the right. Does anyone know for sure? <laughs> I think you've had enough. I guess that was drink. I win, right? <laughs> I 
And then he just sneaks like nothing happened. Hey, kid, did you see me? How about that, huh? How I'm a lonely bartender in a... All right. Nothing new there. Damn it, kid. All right. Well, after all that drinking, I could use a drink. One Jolly Roger and ale, if you please. Here you go, mate. Give me a blight and we're even. You pay her and begin to sip your drink. It's as refreshing as you hoped it would be. The least I could do after all that. That was insane. Six or seven of these and you might get... We just... Yeah, we're as giddy as a Lumerian whore at this point. Oh. Why don't we have some fun? You what? are for a drink. I'm always up for a contest. Splendid. Does Prepare that mean I quit it? All right. I'm not matching it this time. That was insane. I guess I clicked the wrong one. I don't get it. Like, you're just guessing at that point because they're literally the same. There's no other indication. I guess the D is a little bit higher than the G. I like that we're immediately sober again. A <laughs> Lemayan horror. <laughs> yeah, it would be irresponsible for me to try to match our hero. I've forgotten his name, but I'm going to blame it on the Jolly Roger and Ale. All right, that's still very clear. You can still clearly see that that I think you- No! Cursor! Curses. And <laughs> he just- Man, I wish it were that easy for me. Just shake my head. All right, I'm good to go. Why don't we have- I'm always prepared. <laughs> no sense, but whatever. Yeah, don't- don't play along at home at this point. We'll get back on, uh, normal drinking rules track after this. Still going. Like, it's... It's literally 50-50 at this point. I clicked right last time. Might, that left one might be a bit lower. Yeah, all right. I think we got it. I yield. <laughs> I yield. You could drink like a fish. Damn. Damn. Thank you. Sad Jason Statham. I try. I try. <laughs> you know, you just might be the kind of guy we could use. In the Thieves Guild? He kind of looks like a more of an Eternal Order of Fighters kind of what guy. Do you do? Well, we're businessmen. Sounds like a Thief Guild to me. What do you sell? Body order? Be, be nice, Rome. <laughs> no, we procure items that need to be yes. liberated. Oh, you've come to the right man. Gotcha. Obviously, you don't use that ginger a touch of yours. No, <laughs> our targets are usually much larger than mere thievery. The bank? I'm interested. Go on. Well, I'll need you to do something for us. You know, to prove your worth. That sounds like a job interview, only much more physical. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in this thieving job for work, or to work. I do want work. Give me a thieving job. You might say that. I'll get to the point. There's a beast that lives just outside of town. It's some kind of weird mutation or someone's creation. Okay. I don't give a crap. All I know is that its teeth are made of pure silver. Huh. Silver teeth. Silver teeth, eh? Sounds like a child. I want you to kill the beast, cut out its teeth, and get them to us. Yeah, I guess I couldn't steal the teeth without the beast realizing it. That's like 
<laughs> That's the kind of job only Fifi could pull off. <laughs> you want me to cut the teeth out of its head and give them to you? That's grim. That's grim. Yeah, but I also need the teeth melted down. I can't trade teeth to people. <laughs> Too suspicious. You up for it? What do you think the beast is going to come after them and find out? Hey, hey, you got my teeth, don't you? Path of the Brigand. Oh my god, the stars have finally aligned on this channel on the 10 year anniversary. Yes, I will follow the Path of the Brigand. It's just, it's just meant to be. Sure, I can do that. That's incredible. Here, take this. It'll heal you if the beast smacks you down some. I'm so happy right now. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.